Patriot message. And for our first episode, we'll be talking about motherhood or parenting the Christian way. Our first guest, our first ever guest is Miss Deborah Pamintuan. Hi, Deborah. Welcome to Elevation TVPH. Um, please tell us something about your background and what you do and a, a little bit of background about your married life and how many children do you have? Ayan. So, hello, Daily Drop. Hello, Sis Joy. So, good morning, everyone. So, I am Deborah Pamintuan. I am 35 years old. I am married. Na Turning 17 years na pala kaming kasa this coming June. So, ma- I have two sons, ages 16 and 9 years old. So, um, so I'm a full-time mommy and a full-time wife. But aside from that, I am also a business owner. I have a perfume souvenir for events. Meron din akong pizza franchise and milk tea. Same as well, pero above all, isa sa mga great privilege ko is I am a servant in our local church. So I am the head coordinator ng mga ladies sa aming church. So, ayan. Wow, that's a very uh, praiseworthy um, background. No, You are a mother, a mother of two, married for 16 years a businesswoman, and a church worker, a volunteer at church. Wow. Parang living up to the Proverbs 31 woman na yan, eh? <laughs> Anyway, of, um, I would like us to have uh, a little bit more um, talk you know, about Christian parenthood. So I would love to hear from you uh, some wisdom, insights on how you do, how you do parenting, or how do you live up to the Christian way of um, motherhood? No? So my first question is, I know you're, you are a, a, a Christian family. So I presume that your mom was also a believer, right? So, well, anyway, I would like to ask, what was the first, uh, I mean, what is the advice that you have received when you first became a mom and were you able to apply it? Uh, yeah, so... Naging mommy ako, sobrang bata pa. At the age of 18, mommy na ako. So, looking back, no, 17 years ago, wala talag pa, wala akong maalala na in-advise sa akin ng nanay ko. Pero for, I believe, meron talaga, meron. Pero hindi ko lang siya maalala. Pero but, kung iisipin ko, looking back, maybe, mas naalala at, at mas nag-inculcate sa akin yung yung example ng nanay ko. Nanay ko is a single mom. So talagang, tas marap, ilan kami magkakapatid? Five. Pero nakita ko yung sacrifice niya sa bawat isa sa amin and yung love niya. So I think, hindi hindi ko man maalala verbally na sinabi sa akin, but mas naalala ko kasi siya yung, alam mo yung proof, siya yung in-example niya sa amin. What is being a mom? So, bilang nanay, isa sa mga pinakamagandang example na binigay niya sa akin is how to sacrifice, no? Kailangan mong i-sacrifice yung 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 gusto mo. Kasi meron nang meron ka ng accountability, meron nanay ka na, yung responsibility mo, and someone is depending on you. So para sa akin, tinuro niya sa akin how to sacrifice things na more muna yung mga kids, yung family bago ikaw. Alam yung self-denial talaga pag ganun. So, I think yun talaga yung sacrifice. How you will sacrifice yourself para sa family mo. Uh, living by example, no? I think that's the greatest way of ano, imparting a wisdom. So, living by example. And you also mentioned about being uh, yung, yung attitude of self-sacrificing, no? And selflessness. And as uh, motherhood, I think, no? Yung, yan yung one of the greatest um greatest uh Christ likeness you no know, na attitude na di develop dini develop sa mga mommies and ganun din sa aming mga future mommies i think okay <laughs> yes, so lessness no okay well my second question is what's the greatest what's the most important principle or, or value you have learned from spiritual leaders regarding parenting I know some churches or ministers, they have this, um, you know, some talks or um, uh, some, what you call it, church um, 
uh, church uh, ministry um, or leadership training, and they all mm -hmm. they once in a while insert uh, you know Christian parenthood or Christian parenting, I mean, and or motherhood mm -hmm. or fatherhood. Can you please tell us about it? Yeah, especially ako nasa ladies ministry ako. So every month talaga meron kami mga talk, may mga trainings kami for mothers. So isa sa mga natutunan ko talaga no, number one, para kasi bilang nanay wala tayong, walang, walang instruction manual yan no. Talagang kailangan mo dumipin, hindi talaga sa grace ni Lord kasi hindi ka pwedeng hindi, walang perfect. Walang perfect. Hindi mo alam. Iba-iba yung approach sa bawat bata. Iba-iba yung nanay. Iba-iba yung strategy. So, para sa akin, yung pinaka best is number one, kailangan mo lagi panalangin yung anak mo. Kailangan mo kung ipag-pray sila. Alam mo yun, since gusto, yun, kunyari, nag-desire ka pala magkaanak, kailangan pinag-pray mo na sila hanggang sa lumaki sila, hanggang every moment ng buhay nila that God will preserve them, that God will protect them. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yun, you need to pray for them every moment of your life. Kasi, right. kasi yun talaga, binigay sila sa'yo ni Lord. So, para sa akin, kailangan mo talaga silang alagaan sa panalangin. And second, you always need to speak life. Kailangan mo silang diligan ng salita, yung, yung buhay. Pero sometimes, diba, alam mo, isa sa mga guilt ng mga mommies, sometimes we are tempted to speak kung ano yung nakikita namin sa mga anak namin, like, kung makulit ka, ang kulit-kulit mo. Kung mahina siya sa school, eh, bakit? Ang slow mo. Alam mo, we are tempted to speak kung ano yung nakikita namin. But then again, isa sa mga tinuturo talaga sa amin, and I really need to practice it, every, talagang kailangan ko ma-remind yung sarili ko, is to speak life. Hmm. Na hindi mo pwedeng sabihin kung ano yung nakikita mo sa kanila, especially yung child, yung mga anak natin. No? So, kailangan na, kailangan talaga ikaw sa iyo magsisimula yung buhay na yan yung magiging inner voice nila pag mag-isa na lang sila mm. yung buhay na sinabi mo yung tinanim mo sa kanya na hindi yung hindi yung dinidikta ng mundo kasi yung 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 world outside maraming noise yan pero kung nataniman mo sila ng mga good seed ng mga words yun yung magiging strength nila pag mag-isa na lang sila and isa sa mga lagi ko tong para para magkaroon ako ng peace especially pag kami nagkakasakit pag may nababasa kang hindi maganda syempre isa sa mga initial reaction ng mga nanay is to worry pero isa lang yung ni-remind sa akin ni Lord that you are just a steward tagapag alaga ka lang niya hindi mo sila pag-aari so ibig sabihin ko hindi ako ang may-ari nito pero may ari sa kanila and that's God So, ibig sabihin, God has a better and great plan more than sa anak ko. So, ibig sabihin kung, kung mahal ko sila, mas higit na mahal sila ni Lord. So, I need to remind that sa sarili ko, every time na kunyari may nagkakasakit sila or nag-worry ako, ay Lord, may, I declare Jeremiah 29.11, you have a better and great plan for them, plans to prosper them and not to harm them. So, every time, kahit nung, especially ng mga malihits na na, napaka-prone sa, sa sakit at isa sa mga worries ng mga nanay niya ma-o-hospital, ma mag-confine, mag-iinom ng mga gamot. So, talagang every time nag mangyayari yun. And I, I declare talaga Jeremiah 29.11 that I am just a steward, Lord, pinagkakatiwala ko sa iyo itong anak ko. So, yun. Amen. So, being a good steward because children are gifts from God, praying over them and speaking life over them and uh naniniwala ko na yung speaking life is sobrang sobrang powerful yan especially when we speak the word of god to them no kasi that's that's prophesying and when we prophesy the word of god to to to, to anyone no to to any anybody may power yon from 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 the lord our god ano at nagkakaroon amen amen tapos samahan pa ng prayer okay alam mo malaking testimony din yan sa life No family ko, no? My mom used to pray for us. I mean, when we were kids, we used to have like daily, uh, 
uh, evening devotion as a family, you know. Kahit sobrang likod na ng mga brothers ko, talaga. <laughs> Kahit makikita mo na yung, 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 yung annoyance sa mom ko, but she kept on pursuing, no, the, the, the habit of having a personal devotion and prayer time. So talaga, speak niya sa mga brothers ko, ang babait niya. <laughs> Kahit likod na likod na, ito, sobrang sutil. No? Ang babait niya. Mabait kayo in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Anyway, and my brothers grew up grew up so well, no? Not perfect, but grew up so well. Same, the same as with my sister and me, no? Sabi na, lahat ng tinatamin na salita ng Diyos sa mga bata. Dadalhin yan. Kahit magka, ano tawag tawag, magka lihis-lihis pa ng landas yan. Babalik at babalik yan, no? Sa pan- Amen. Because the seed that Amen. we have planted, no? Sa, 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 sa mga... kapatid natin or sa mga mothers sa kanilang mga anak or sa mga kaibigan natin, nagbubu- nag-take root yan at saka nagbubunga. Walang nasasayang. Amen! Amen. <laughs> sa sarili kong sinap. Anyway, yes. Um, hmm, I will become, hopefully, and prayerfully become um, a wife and praying to become a mom in the future. So, What would you give me as your advice uh, in my preparation for motherhood? Not only for me, but for our viewers who are who are praying you know, to become wives and mothers in the future. Or dun sa mga mommies out there din na nakikinig mo yan. Yeah. One, so word, one word lang. So, one word? Yes, one word. Your family is your first ministry. I think yun talaga. na God will, syempre, we have purpose, no? dami nating purpose, and sometimes we have a lot of hats to say no sa all. Pero above all, your first ministry is your family. Your first ministry is your children, your husband. So, bago tayo mag-win ng iba, we should win our family first. I love that. Your family, our family, your family is our first ministry. Our family, kahit siguro sa amin na unmarried pa, no? Our family, okay. parents and siblings, they are our first ministry no? to mm-hmm. our example as Christians, yes. as Christian Christ believers. Thank you so much, Deborah, for your time. That has been, you know, very um, meaty, very uh, short and sweet talk, pero sobrang andami kong natutunan ngayon. And I, I bet marami ding natutunan yung mga viewers natin ngayon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Joyce. Thank you for the opportunity. And I pray talaga na marami pang makakabuse at makakapanoon ng, ng daily job. Thank you so much, Debs. Thank you so much. See you next week. <laughs> See you next week mm-hmm. in our uh, live group at Women of Faith, no? Next week, Tuesday. Anyway, thank you so much, my dear viewers, for, <laughs> for participating <laughs> in our Daily Drop first episode, no? Uh, first episode. Um, hope to see you again.